Hello and welcome to another post-processing video. In this video we are going to see how to overlay media on top of your simulation. So either a logo from your company or a test, test video, an actual footage from a lab test, how to overlay that. Let me load the results file. So I have this Explorer H3D file and this is my result. I can animate that and change the view from perspective to orthographic. It's just that it's a little bit easier to move around when we have orthographic view set. I will isolate this one component, these components right here as well back. Actually this is the wall. I'll keep that, the floor as well. And this is a section cut which I will disable right here. So I need to overlay a video that I have of this the scratch test. Right here I have this AVI file which I can reproduce it and I want to overlay this video on top of my simulation. How can I do that? Well, we have the Align tool that when I click on it, the Image Plane browser opens where I have the ability to load files, videos or images either in a 2D or 3D format. So For the 2D format, I will create a label for the image which will be alter logo and then I'll load a PNG file that's Altair which is Altair's logo. You can see it's a big logo on the back because my image is way bigger than the simulation in terms of pixels. So I need to scale this. To do that I'll go to the display options right here enable the zoom option then I can do it like this so do that if I disable the zoom I can resize this image and this is a 2d image that's why I cannot move it in the depth direction only in this plane that was loaded in you can see that if I enable the zoom option I have that on the back of my simulation but if you if you load multiple images you can change the order they are in so in the Z stack option I can make the model or the image appear on top so if I do it like this then the image comes to the front but let's keep that way and also in the display options I can change the transparency But in the anchor, I have a, a few options for predefined positions of the image, such as left corner, top left corner, top right corner, and so on. I'll leave this right here in the bottom right corner. Go back to the display option, disable zoom to make this a little bit smaller. And I'll move it slightly just so it's not touching the edges. And you might argue that for a logo, a overlaid logo, this does not look good because it has this black background. But I can use the filter options to filter out some colors. For example, if I use the color alpha and the mode is greater than, for example, you have all the colors that have a hex code greater than something. So you don't actually need to know the hex code for a color, but since I want to get rid of the black color of the logo, I will set the mode to equal and all colors in this image that are equal to black will be filtered out. Okay. So I have my logo here and once I close this one, it will always sit there. Okay. And then I can play the animation and see how it's going. 
Now time to load the actual test video. To do that, go back to align or even when we create a image overlay, we have this new branch right here on the results browser where I can right click and create a new image plane. So it does, doesn't matter where you create it from, you will end up in the same place. I'll go to align, click that. So instead of 2D, I'll be using 3D. The label will be Explorer Video. The file will be this one, AVI file. And the, this is what's different when we have a 3D option or 2D. So you can move in the depth direction. I can rotate it in all directions. So you have the ability of using the graphical manipulators to change whatever you want. So you don't need to set manually so that would be quite difficult right to make sure everything is in place uh, actually i would need to rotate it this way and then a little bit this way so that would be quite hard right so we will be using the alignment options right here in the alignment tab I'll be using two points to align and what we need to make sure is that we select let me move this someplace else we need to select two pixels in the this image which corresponds to the the video we are seeing right now and two nodes of our model and then we have a plane so this plane gives the orientation of the the video i can see that the plane i intend to align this with would be the xz plane so I'll change this from xy to xz right yeah this is the one and then i can start picking my pixels i'll increase the zoom right here to 200% then I can see a little bit closer and my selector is active the IN1 so I need to select pixel 1 I'm selecting one right here next to the wheel lug nut and then the second one right here once I've done that I can go to my model you can see that the selector N1 is enabled then zoom in pretty close and make sure that the node as n1 is as close as possible to the pixel you selected as in1 so it looks like it's this node right here and then for n2 I'll bring it here and click on this one and as you can see, I have a vector that points to the direction of the alignment and on the plane XZ. So this vector and these four points, actually two nodes and two pixels, they give the scaling of the image and positioning while the plane sets the orientation. And if I click align, I can see that things are aligned now. I can move it. and or change the transparency so if i align with the x z plane i'm not able to see the simulation so why not give that a little bit of transparency and since the video is a perspective video i'll go back to results and the current view i'll make this perspective so it looks a little bit more like the video. Once I hit play, although it is overlaid, they're not synchronized. So there's an extra step to synchronize animation. To do that, we need to access the time scales. Uh, close this one. 
we need to access the time scales or synchronize animation tool. We can access that by clicking here in the animation settings, time scales, and I will set time A as 0 0.00. .00 499 and if you're not sure how to manipulate this synchronize window animation tool there's a separate video for this where I walk through the the steps so that's why I'm just going over the the exact timing right here okay once I apply things should be synchronized and animating that let's see how it looks like oh it's a little bit offset so why not I right click on the click edit and I move this slightly to the right if I close it and I reanimate it then it looks much better now This concludes this tutorial. I'll see you on the next one.